So I'm born and raised in East Los Angeles. Uh, Cheech actually wasn't. Cheech was born in South LA, even though he says in his song that he was born in East LA. I was actually born in East LA and raised there. I went to uh, Lincoln High School. <clears throat> Since I lived north of the San Bernardino Freeway, uh, otherwise I would have gone to Roosevelt. What made a difference for me was going to UCLA and getting a, a bachelor's and a master in fine art in film television so that I could learn the language of Hollywood and I could meet people who were working in Hollywood and that created the access for me. My graduate thesis program was a documentary that I did for NBC. While I was still a graduate student, they were looking to do a documentary on uh, Latinos and Chicanos. And I pitched them an idea, and uh, they went for it. It was called Cinco Vidas, and I was very fortunate in that my graduate thesis won an Emmy. So that became the platform from which I was able to then build a career. Now, if you ask me, well, how did I get into film school? That's another story. I had to organize a student strike and take over the, the film school. We had a sit-in uh, in the dean's office until they agreed to uh, fund and create a brand new program called Ethnocommunications that brought in African Americans, Asian Americans, Native Americans, and Latinos and Chicanos into the film school for the very first time in any meaningful numbers back in 1970. Well, we're supporting filmmakers, and uh, we're being able to provide a certain amount of capital, uh, both to buy the rights to distribute filmmakers who made movies that uh, were quite economical. A good example uh, would be this movie, this poster up here, here called August Evening. Uh, it's a beautiful feature film, and uh, it won the Cassavetes Award as the best independent, low-budget feature film at the Spirit Awards just two years ago. It was shot and put in the can and edited for about $75,000. The point is, is that you can launch your career and, and get into this at a far more affordable price than it used to be because of the advancements in technology. So obviously the costs have come way down and it's far more accessible and uh, it's far easier so that now people's talent you know, is really the issue. You learn the technique of being able to use this equipment, the software, which, you know, youth grow up now on these days using computers, and you can prove your abilities and talent. Well, I was one of the student leaders uh, uh, that was uh, a founder of UMAS back then, that later became Mecha at UCLA. We created what we called Uma Central, so there were representatives from each of the colleges, and we each took responsibility for going back and mentoring one of the high schools. And UCLA, um, and largely as a consequence of my influence, uh, picked Lincoln High School. And so we went back to Lincoln High School, and UCLA was a school that provided the mentoring and uh, support to what then became the student leadership at Lincoln High School that led the walkout. The inspiration that my father gave me, a couple of teachers at Lincoln High School who saw that potential in me, and um, my willingness to work, to commit myself, it still comes down to individual effort. You've got to want it, and then you've got to work for it. The most important thing you can do in your life is to listen to yourself. If you create excuses in your own mind for why you can't do things, well then, you're not going to do anything. You have to listen to yourself and be committed and speak to your commitment with actions. And when you do that, you can achieve anything.